Hello and welcome to all our viewers to our favorite news bulletin show 7 at 7 only on Thumbs and Wheels. This is your host Anjali Jha. Today we'll be looking at top 7 news headlines that are making some buzz in the game of cricket. In this show we'll be looking at India versus Leicestershire, India women team defeating Sri Lanka and so much more. So without any further delay let's get straight into the details and see what's happening in the cricket world. First we have India versus Leicestershire match highlights. The 28 year old KS Bharat from Andhra Pradesh showed outstanding performance with his bat scoring some big runs for India and helping the team to reach a safe spot against Leicestershire being played at Upton Steel Cricket Ground on Thursday. India's first day at the exhibition match versus Leicestershire ended with them at 246 for 8 thanks to KS Bharat's excellent half century. After losing their first 5 wickets for 82 runs, India recovered admirably to reach 200 runs thanks to him. Next up we have England versus New Zealand where Mitchell and Blundell fight back to rescue Kiwis from England's early attack. When New Zealand overcame a freak accident to finish the first day of the third and final test on 225 for 5, Daniel Mitchell and Tom Blundell once more proved to be a pain for England. After deciding to bat, New Zealand struggled. Stuart Broad dismissed opener Tom Latham for a duck in the opening over. Prior to that, New Zealand was teetering on 123 for 5 when Henry Nichols mysteriously collapsed, but Mitchell and Blundell spearheaded the comeback with uninterrupted century stand. On third, we will talk about Adil Rashid who chose the Hajj pilgrimage over India series. The star leg spinner of England Adil Rashid will miss the upcoming white ball series versus India and the later stages of T20 Blast Cricket League as he is planning to go for a holy pilgrimage to Mecca. Earlier this year Rashid a practicing Muslim decided to go to the holy place with his wife and the ECB and Yorkshire have granted the leave. The 34 year old will fly to the Middle East on Saturday and is expected to be back in the squad for English sides white ball series against South Africa. In his absence England might try Matt Parkinson for the T20 and ODI series against India. Next up we have Glenn Maxwell who has joined the Aussies test team after 5 years. Glenn Maxwell has been drafted into the Australia's test squad on the tour of Sri Lanka. The Victorian all-rounder was called up on Thursday night ahead of the opening test match in Galle next week as Travis Head recovers from a minor hamstring strain. Star white ball striker Maxwell has only played 7 tests making his debut 9 years ago against India. He also scored his one and only test century against India in Ranchi in 2017. At number 5 we are looking at the Ranchi Trophy finals. The Ranchi Trophy final in Mangaluru is finally poised heading into the third day. Madhya Pradesh slowly chipped away at the runs and has constructed a base camp for which they will aim to exceed Mumbai's first innings tally of 374. Sarfaraz Khan rallied the lower order to get his fourth century of the season after they took a wicket off the second delivery dropping Mumbai to 248 for 6. At stumps, MP was 123 for 1, 251 runs behind Mumbai, but they persisted and made a strong start to their own innings. Now let's look at India women team's win against the Sri Lanka women's team in T20I series. India has taken 1-0 lead in the series by defeating Sri Lanka in the first match by 34 runs. The main reason for the win was some tight bowling by the Indian players which helped them defend a modest total of 138 runs. Radha Yadav was India's best bowler in the match and she finished with 22 for 2. Before this, Jamima Rodriguez hit an unbeaten 36 of 27 to steer India to a total of 138 for 6 in the first T20I against Sri Lanka women in Bambula on Thursday. Although for Indian batters it was not their best performance. Last but not the least we have Sarfaraz Khan who is all set to be picked for test series against Bangladesh. Sarfaraz Khan a batter from Mumbai is about to earn his first call up to the Indian team for the test series against Bangladesh in November. For Mumbai in recent years he has been a prolific run scorer in the domestic cricket. In Ranji Trophy finals against Madhya Pradesh on Thursday Sarfaraz Khan hit his fourth century of the 2021-2022 season. He entered the fray when it mattered the most and managed a valiant 134 for 243 balls. In 6 games this season Sarfaraz has scored 937 runs overall at an average of 133.85 he has scored the most runs overall in the competition so what do you think about sarfaraz being included in the test team let us know by commenting down below and if you want to read more about these news don't forget to visit our website www.stumsandbase.com and if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to stumps and base and follow all our social media platforms which would be linked in the description box down below till then take care bye bye